The patient is a 32-year-old G1P1 with a large symptomatic uterine fibroid. A preoperative MRI characterized the fibroid as fundal subserosal FIGO type 7 measuring 17 centimeters. A Maillard incision is planned, which increases exposure and access to the pelvic sidewalls compared to a Fannin steel incision, while allowing for a transverse skin incision. Transverse incisions have lower postoperative pain, hernia formation, and adhesions compared to midline incisions. Since the fascia is open to the lateral borders of the rectus muscle to expose the inferior epigastric vessels, the risk of iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal nerve injury is increased. Therefore, a higher skin incision will avoid injury to these nerves, which are more lateral in this location. The patient is positioned in dorsal lithotomy. The abdomen is entered using a Maillard incision. The skin and fascia are opened horizontally. The inferior epigastric arteries are then identified at the lateral border of the rectus sheath, skeletonized, and ligated bilaterally. The rectus muscles are divided, and the peritoneum is opened horizontally. The uterus is exteriorized from the abdominal cavity. A tourniquet is placed at the uterine isthmus to temporarily occlude the uterine arteries. Intramyometrial vasopressin is injected and the fibroid is excised. The myometrium is closed in multiple layers. Sutures are placed perpendicular to the incision for the first layer and parallel to the incision for the second layer. The uterine serosa is closed with a baseball or herringbone stitch. The tourniquet is released. An adhesion barrier is placed over the uterine incision. The uterus is reintroduced into the abdominal cavity. The peritoneum is closed, followed by the fascia. The skin is closed. 